This, it's not even funny now, like, it's, it's got beyond a joke. This is just absolutely ridiculous. This is, oh my god, let's just, I'm just, oh, I'm lost, I'm literally lost for words right now. Killer extension mode. Go. I'm just gonna continue and expand this plat- Well, that was weird. Somehow I just got a slime ball. I must have killed the thing that was sitting right in my pillar. Speaking of random topics, here's another story for you. So the other day at school, and by the other day I mean Thursday, so two days ago, uh, a mate of mine told me that he had he, his younger cousin, or like nephew or something, had asked him to help him with a history assignment because he was too lazy to do it himself. So my friend got another one of my friends to help him write up the history assignment, and he had like incorrect dates, he had retarded quotes, he had sort of falsified weird information he had I think I forget is it He-Man's song you know it goes like hey yeah 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 what's going on that that one like yeah I'm sure you've all heard it anyway he made a like there was a literally a quote in there that was like and the effects on soldiers memories can be shown by this quote from Sergeant Sergeant Davis thingy and Bob and then it was a quote from that song like it was the most ridiculous thing and my friend's cousin actually submitted that, like he didn't realise that it was an absolute troll. He submitted it, a couple days later my friend's like, you'll never guess what happened. My cousin got an A- minus for that history report. Like, an A- minus for an absolute troll history report that wasn't even true. And we just, oh my god, it was the, one of the funniest things I'd ever heard because the day he was telling us about it, we spent like... The whole lunchtime just laughing about how you could have made that a more trollish type of video. It was just the most random thing I've ever seen in my life. To think that there are teachers out there who really don't care that much about their jobs, or are just as dumb as you may think they are, who could actually believe that. Now, I haven't really worked out the dimensions of this. Let's let's talk about Minecraft for a second now. I haven't worked out the dimensions for this just yet. I'm sort of doing this as I go. You'll notice that when we get on the fan server, or the, whenever I do my next video, I haven't actually built anything. I spent, I think, three hours today on the fan server when we were talking. We were online we chatting the whole time. And I spent most of that time running around in circles and around the map. And around the new arena they're working on, which I will show you next time. Now, that's not even. So I'm just going to do one more layer on this side. The only reason I'm doing it out of wood is like, I don't build enough st stuff out of wood. I just hope it doesn't burn down. I have to make sure I don't put any blaze rods in here. Blaze, 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 blazes. Blazes, don't put blazes in there. Not blaze rods, put blaze rods in there. <clears throat> I think, my, I'm, I think I'm, my voice is going. I have a bad... Like, it's freezing here in Australia right now absolutely pissing down the last few days and I just have not been able to do anything. I've been sick as a dog. It hasn't helped the fact that I needed to make videos. And you've got a friggin' nasally nose and you can't sound and talk proper. And it just it gets really annoying, trust me. So yeah, I'm sorry. That's another tangent. There we go. There's proof. Sometimes you have to go off on a tangent. I kind of remember how I started this episode. I think... Mm, let's not go there. Let's talk about the present. Live in the present, talk about the present, think about the future. Screw the past. Screw it, screw it, screw it. Now, the reason I'm back here is because... I need a mob spawner. And... I need to find a way to actually get into this place. God damn it. It's always a nuisance to get in here. There we go, that'll do. Actually, no, I think that's a creeper one. Probably don't want to put a creeper mob spawner into my farm thing. Um, I didn't really plan this, did I? What's the best course of attack here? Yeah, I think that's the blaze one, so I don't want that. 
The other problem I have as well is if I put different types of mobs in here, like, you know, they all have... Holy shite! Gold damn. Oh, no. This is not good. Run away. What's that? That's silverfish. I don't want silverfish. They're even more annoying. Gold. That's not good. Okay, that was a bit of a fail. Um, I need to get up here somewhere. Let me turn this down so it doesn't annoy you. Damn rain. Uh, why do I have so much? Oh yeah, because I'm retarded and I had to chop it all down. Let's just tarred pillar up here. I know there's cave spiders up around about here, I think. I really need some ender pearls. Bit of lag, nothing like a bit of lag. Sweet cave spiders, okay. Hopefully I can reach it from here. There we go. I got my cave spider spawned and nearly fell. Oh, I fell. Munch on the chicken. And now, so what my plan is, basically, for this entire building factory thing above, is to try to get through this lag first. Is, I want to, why? This is another reason that I'm starting to get really pissed off with the Technic Pack. Because the lag just, I don't know where it comes from, why it happens. But ever since the new version of the Technic Pack came out, a few months ago, this has happened where I've played for a bit and I've just started lag. It's a problem with Java and my computer, I think, but it seems to be a unique problem. Like, it only happens to a few people and they never actually found a proper fix for it as far as I know. And that's sort of another thing that's starting to turn me off using the Technic Pack. So, I'm thinking of keeping the major mods, you know, things like Buildcraft, Industrialcraft, Thorncraft, other stuff that you guys suggest, you know, Millinaire, the Dungeons, things, CA Ruins, although I think that's a millionaire dungeon. I'm not sure. But I'm thinking of, you know, cutting it down to those main things, because that should reduce lag a bit. You know, it's less retarded, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And we'll be able to, we'll be able to do more, because I won't have to always worry about resetting my world and everything. So there's just a reminder of that proposition to you guys and girls. And in saying that, I'm going to just log out just quickly so that we don't have to endure this lag anymore. Okay, I think we're back. I think I fixed it just sort of a bit of a restart. Now I completely forgot what I was talking about. I think I was talking about building this thing. Basically my plan is this. I want to build sort of an enclosed cage area which will go up and then at certain points further up I'll basically sit down a mob spawner. And my plan is just for mobs to spawn and just drop, basically. Just drop straight down and die. Now, the one thing I have to work out with that is you've got to be within a 16 block radius and they need to drop, drop like 23 and a half blocks to get them down to half a heart. But that's not really my concern. Like, I don't really care if they get to 20 and a half hearts. But my plan is this. I'll have like a sunlight EMC collector thingy here and then I'll basically put an array, you know, like the relay or whatever it's called next to it so I can just come here whenever I want charge up my client star get my archangel smite out and basically let rip with a crap ton of arrows so then it won't really matter how much health they have I can just you know blast away with my arrows so I could put multiple layers of this thing with just a whole heap of mob spawners and that's sort of you know I mean maybe there's other things I could do you know maybe there's some sort of automated block or sort of automated system but is it night already it was just night time like two minutes ago, I swear. Damn. Okay, I'm not even going to bother going out this time, but we're just going to continue to work. Let's get some torches in here. Just light this place up a bit. I don't want any mobs coming and wrecking everything. Um, so, yeah, that's sort of what my plan is. I want to build an area where I can just have mobs spawning. Now, the spawn radius is something like, I'm just going to go off the approximation of 8 by 8, I think is just roughly what it is. So I need to make sure whatever width I make this, whatever length I make it, it's like divisible by 8. So I think, but it also has to be something where I can be within 
the space of the spawners. So what my plan is, let's do a, let's do a scale building of this, a mini scale building. We have like a spawner, spawner, sort of spawner, this kind of thing, and then you know we can have like one here in this space, one in this space, sort of like a cube shaped thing. And then there'll be the platform layer where we walk in, which will be about here. So then we can build a couple of rings around us, one ring above us, and try and maximize the spawning if we can. Now, the sad thing's going to be is if we go through all this effort to build this awesome thing, and we end up going with the new... <sighs> did it again. What's that? Four or five times now? I can't... I don't know... What the hell? This is getting ridiculous. Pillar extension rate. Absolutely ridiculous that I just keep doing that. Like, I don't even know why it's doing that. It's really pissing me off right now. I'm genuinely starting to get mad. Anyway, as I was saying, if we end up going, you know, with just the new LP, with the newer, um, just doing a few mods and selecting them out. But in the long run, that may be the better option. And, you know, it doesn't hurt. Building something, building again, restarting. That's sort of the fun in Minecraft. That's what you do. I don't think I know anybody who has played the first world that they ever played since Alpha all the way through to now. Probably because some of them got broken naturally and you can't actually do that. But my point remains, like, that's part of the fun in Minecraft. Like, some people love to build and build and build and build and build. Just massive worlds, massive projects. But most people, you build... You get bored after a while, you start again, sort of thing. That's a lot of fun is in starting the game again, and that may be what that may be what we do. That might be what we do. That might be what we do for the best in the long run. Is sort of what I'm saying. You can't think. You can't keep thinking of the short term. That's the only problem. That's my only concern here with trying to make this thing continue to work. Now, in saying that. Everybody loves the Tech Loaded series, so we'll see. But it'll still be mods, like, you know, you still have a lot of the favourite mods that you guys like, so... I don't think... I, I think most of you guys will be happy with the decision, but we'll see. I think I'm going to start as well, I'm going to start a Hack Slash Mine series. I know I've got series going left, right and centre, but it just gives variety for people to watch. There's, like, more types of mods there, I mean, that's a more RPG style type. So you got your, you got your technic, technical style pack. You've got your hack slash mine, which I don't actually know a lot about, but I have seen a few videos. It looks awesome. It looks really fun, so I want to try a bit of that. And you got the Minecraft Fanso, which is some more vanilla Minecraft, but occasionally with other people in it. Well, there'll always be other people in it, but occasionally talking to other people. And it just it gives variety for everybody to watch custom maps. I want to start doing custom maps again. It's been a long time since I've played a good custom map. I'm not saying that custom maps are bad, I mean like as in like a long time since I've actually played a custom map. Play some blocks all over the place. So yeah, I've got a lot of things planned that I want to start doing. I want to start playing some other games. I think I might play some Portal Custom maps, but don't hold me to that one, okay? I'm not sure if that's going to happen. It's more so because of time constraints. Um, now, if before we continue going on about our future plans, let's just work out what we're going to do here. So I think we'll come up to this point here. You know, we might stick a door or something. I don't, I don't really know. We'll go in, and this is where I need to start working out my block ready. So if I'm going to do, let's say I'm going to do a pillar type column. If I had, if I wanted an 8x8 eight eight radius to spawn on, and I had, so I want to go, I want to have like f about four blocks on each side of each spawner. So it basically needs to be about, we'll make it, 20 wide I think would be the best way to do this or actually do we need an odd number yeah we need an odd number so that it lines up here so we'll make it 21 wide I think it's going to be the best way to fit this so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 no wait what am I doing okay, that's that will be like the 21st block the odd block so it needs to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8. oof I almost had it perfect it's a 10 and the same goes the other way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, the first one would be 4 in from here. So 1, 2, 3, 
spawner. That's where the first spawner would go. Uh, how can I mark the spawners? Let's use cobble. Like so. And that one. There we go. I think. So we walk in. I still have to... Hmm. I'm just thinking like how will I get up? Like am I just going to stick a ladder? Do I want a staircase? I could easily fit a staircase here actually on the outside so I don't think that's the concern. We'll leave it as it is for now. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. I just want to make sure I've got like enough space. Like it doesn't matter if, I'm a bit, if I have a bit too much space but if I don't have enough space for it to spawn that will make me mad. One, two, three, four, and okay, and then we'll have one, two, three, four. Now, the only thing there is they're sharing a common space, but considering that they're just dropping to the ground, I don't think it will matter too much. But what I do want to do is actually move it across here. So that way, if I go one, two, there, like this, just so there's a bit of space between them, this horizontal, whichever direction you want to say this is, like that, so then you'd sort of stand in this area, which I think, I'm pretty sure will, you know, you can obviously reach all of those ones, and you'd be able to do a couple of up, a couple of down, so now we need to be able to go four out this way, just need to extend this one more. Like that. Two, three, four. Sweet. I'll just extend this platform a bit. Just so we have maximum space to work with everything. And I think we will wrap the episode up here guys and girls it's probably going to be split into two episodes it's about 40 minutes of recording i've got here i think so <clears throat> welcome back to take a loaded guys and girls sorry for the long break um, i'm going to try not to like jam pack everything frequently in a row so i'm not going to be doing a video a day basically is what i'm saying i don't i don't want to make that promise because i know i won't have the time to do it it'll probably be a video every couple two to three days with the Ultra Hawk Hardcore coming out, there'll be quite a lot of videos, so look forward to that. You guys will enjoy it. Look forward to more series coming out, different types of videos, and hopefully with more regularity. That's not actually lined up, is it? God damn, I am terrible at building stuff. I can't even line up simple four block pattern in a square. Anyway, guys and girls, completely irrelevant. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like rating, and until next time, I will see you all later with maybe a new type of series, maybe another one, maybe one you've already seen, I don't know. Who cares, we'll see you next time.